question marks keep spilling on my heart, but they don't have a clue how much I care for you. They don't have an idea. <laughs> so then I was walking down the hall talking to my friend Ellie about this boy Jax that I really like. And then I walked around the corner and I literally ran right into him. Oh Ouch. my god. <laughs> What did you say? I mean, I just looked at him, turned around, and walked straight to PE. <laughs> <laughs> did he hear you? I mean, I wasn't exactly whispering. I don't think you know how to whisper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Subtlety has never been your strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> you can thank mom for that one. I heard that. <laughs> Zoe, tell me you're not this mean to your parents. Don't let them become a bad influence on you. No, I think your kids are great. <laughs> mm, they have their moments. <laughs> So, Zoe, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you lived in Attaway? Um, we moved here when I was eight, I think. So, yeah, pretty long. And your parents? What do they do for work? Oh, uh, my dad does real estate law for people who build houses. And my mom hasn't worked since we were little. Oh, so you have siblings then? Um, mom, it's fine. Um, I have a little brother, and I used to have a big sister. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zoe. It's fine. Who wants berry cobbler? Ooh. I think it should be heated up by now. I'd love some, thank you. Ooh, okay, berry cobbler all around. Uh, Riggs, would you please go in the kitchen and help your mother? Thank you. Nobody ever knows, nobody ever sees Praying to the Lord, praying for my soul Now please don't go, oh no I think of you whenever I'm alone Now please Thanks for having me. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, sorry my mom's asked so many questions. They're like, Raya, they don't know when to stop talking. It's fine. I think it's nice they want to know. Most of my family dinners are completely silent until my mom gets mad or Casper breaks something. Well, we should trade houses for a week. I know Raya would like that. Well, I can guarantee you if you're at my house even for a day, you will change your mind. <laughs> well, you're welcome here anytime. My moms, they loved you. I guess I should get home. Um, yeah. I'll see you well, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> bye. 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 Uh. Zoe. Hi. We have some exciting news. We, Austin's family, has agreed to make a generous donation to save the Halloween party. What? Really? Thank you. We're calling it Austin DuPont Presents Halloween. I'm getting into the event business. This is good for my personal brand. You have no idea how much this means to me. Just one thing. We need to find a place to host it. That shouldn't be too hard, right? The hotel's booked that night, but I'm sure you two will figure it out. I gotta go, but thanks again. Thanks. I'm sorry, what was that? Thank you. Austin. Hey. Hi. What's up? I called your house last night. Your dad said you were out? Yeah, I was at Riggs' house. Riggs? Like Rai's brother? Yep. Is that like a thing now? I don't know, Brody. I was just at his house for dinner. Weird. Why is that weird? I don't know. I mean, you just never really talked about him like that. Oh, like how you never talked about Viv? That's different. How is that different, Brody? Because, like... <sighs> Zoe, I didn't mean...
the event hall near the slab has a bat mitzvah that night, so that's out. Mm, what about a house party? I mean, Boots has a great living room. No dice. School wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Aren't you in an art class right now? Okay, it doesn't mean that I'm good at it. <laughs> Here, let me help. Oh my god. <laughs> what about Junior's? Junior? He's a grump. I doubt he'd go for it. Cleo used to work there. She was a barista for like a year. Junior loved her. I can ask him. Are you sure? I don't mind doing it. No, it's okay. Thank you, by the way. For what? Supporting all of this. <laughs> you know, before my parents split up last year, we were the Halloween house in our neighborhood. My dad would go all out and decorate outside to be really spooky with cobwebs and strobe lights, and they'd sit on the porch and hand out king-size candy bars. Cleo loved Halloween, too. It's just a week away from her birthday. Hey, uh, Isaac, you might want to come out for a second. Flower delivery. Therefore, um... Yeah, let me guess. Isaac. <laughs> Another girl sending you flowers, huh? My mistake. I must be at the wrong school. Elliot. You know the flower guy? He's not the flower guy. I mean... He's delivering flowers. But the flowers are from Elliot. We met this summer. He's uh, my boyfriend. Finally, give me the Zoe update. What's there to say? Dinner was fun. She's cool. But are you gonna see her again? Maybe movies or milkshake at Juniors? <laughs> I like her. I'm just not sure if I like like her. But you haven't even given it a shot. She met the moms, Raya. I'd call that a shot. But what about something alone? Just you two together? Just leave me alone about it. I'm just trying to help. Actually, you're not. You're too scared to find your own boyfriend, so you can get in my way. This is about your issues, not mine. What? She's doing it again. I'll talk to her. <sighs> All right, let's get started. I'm so sorry I'm late. It's okay, Zoe, we've missed you. Well, now that we have you, why don't you give us an update on all things Zoe Valentine? Sure. Um, well, let's see. Um, I'm planning this Halloween party at school, which is super fun, but also reminds me of Cleo, because it's right around her birthday, and it's when she would also celebrate. So, yeah, I guess that's it. So part of grieving is remembering, but another part is reconciling. That means putting something, say this Halloween party, in perspective with the person that we've lost. How are you really feeling inside, Zoe? Oh, um. I'm sorry I can't do this right now. Well, we all have our own way of grieving. I know I should be thinking about Cleo, but there's just this stupid Halloween party, and then Isaac has a new boyfriend, and then 
Brody just freaked out at me today. Brody? Why on earth would he be mad at you? I don't know. I guess went to Riggs' house and didn't tell him. What about his secret summer girlfriend that he didn't even tell you about? Next time I see that boy, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. No, you don't have to. Yeah, I want to. What's up, guys? Oh, perfect. What? What's up is, what's your problem? Autumn. My problem? Look, you can't be bothered to actually hang out with Zoe since you've got this new girlfriend, and then the second that she finds a new guy, you give her attitude about it? Look, I know it used to be you two against the world, but you've made it perfectly clear that she's replaceable. And guess what? So are you. I'll take this money and spend it good. It won't hurt nobody but me. Next time on Zoe Valentine. Happy birthday, Cleo. Happy birthday, Cleo. What? Raya! Oh, Zoe, I know, and I feel really bad. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but I have a lot on my plate right now, and I cannot deal with this. 